Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, we're back with the second episode of Quick Hits of the Day. Uh, we're breaking down all the prospects. Uh, yesterday, um, well, th- er- earlier today, we did uh, Dalton Smith, um, and we're getting into to all the prospects. It's the second episode, like I promise, we'll be back. Ho- uh, Jesus uh, Ramos is who we're going to get into next, but first... Like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, 8 to 10 minutes real quick just to keep you up to date on all the latest news and rumors in the world of boxing. Um, so we're back. I said we're going to uh, – we did the first episode on, uh, of the day. Uh, British prospect um, Dalton Smith who fights at 140. Now we're going up a weight class to 147, and uh, we're going to discuss – U.S. prospect, and I shouldn't even say prospect. I, I should say child prodigy, um, 147-pound child prodigy, Jesus Ramos. What he's been able to do at just 19 years old is nothing short of remarkable. I mean, this guy is incredible. He's your answer. He's your solution. Um, he's, he's the one. He, he's the prospect. Look, he was he's 19. Uh, he started fighting in Mexico. He had to be 16 or 17. I was trying to do some math earlier. I'm not exactly sure. I couldn't find his exact birth date. Uh, but he started fighting in Mexico in 2018. He ran off eight straight wins with eight knockouts. And then he fought in Arizona. And then he got on the PPC cards um, where he's been since he's you know, 9 and 0. Um, he is a 147 pound. Monster, just a, a a force like a 147 pound Mungia with skills. You know what he's like offensively is uh, Swiss Cat start running beside, but I, I, I had a welterweight version. Like he's a running beside, he's a physical force, he's a monster. He's so strong at 19. Uh, he's pushing our man. His resume for a guy that's 19 is incredible, right? Like he's got wins over Ricky Edwards, who's a good fighter. He's got a win over Kevin Shaq. Uh, the first, that's the guy I think of this. Uh, one of those journeymen who who challenged everyone. Um, he's got, and then uh, Boy Riquez, and then he beat um, Esteban Garcia, Nayam Nelson. Like what he's done through nine uh, at, through nineteen years of age is incredible. You know, I, and I know um, PBC loves Vito Malnicki, who's fine. He's eighteen, I guess. But put Malnicki next to this, he's not even close. Right, like well, uh, and then Joey Spencer. They love Joey Spencer, who's not good. All right, like I don't get their love affair with the, this. Is their guy? Like if they're looking for a welterweight who can, can compete with Virgil Ortiz in years to come and and Boots Enos in years to come, like this is their guy, not Vito Malnicki. This guy, uh, he, he's a, he's a force. He's got skills. He's offensively a machine. He's got a snapping jab. He beats people up like. This guy is it. Like I said, this is Jaime Munguia with skills. This is a, a welterweight version of Sor Rungvisai. Like, this guy's an offensive force. Him and Omar Juarez are your best prospects. I, I don't get why they're in love with Mel- Vito Melanicki and Joey Spencer. I don't get it. Like, they love those guys, especially Spencer, who I don't see at all. Right? Like, if you're saying, like, who's your pro- – at 19 years old – this guy's a freak, right? Like, like I, he really is. Uh, he's beating up grown men, physically dominating grown men, good fighters, undefeated prospects. Like, uh, Esteban Garcia wasn't a prospect that was lighting the world on fire, but he's a good prospect, good prospect. And he's dismantling him. And then he, he fought this Mexican tough guy, uh, I'm going to say the name wrong, Boyarquez, um, which from Tijuana. And he dismantled him in two rounds. He's already fighting 10 rounders. He's 19 years old. I mean, not that he goes 10 rounds because he destroys everyone. I don't even know who you're going to put him in the ring with next. 
that can test him. Like it, it, it's like he's the real deal, Edgar Berlanga. Like I know Top Rank has Berlanga who knocks everyone out. He went to you know in, in the first round, but he doesn't fight anybody. Like at 19 years old, his resume, Ramos's resume, is far better than Berlanga's. He fights real guys and destroys them. The only guy to take him the distance was a four rounder with Kevin Shacks. Shacks also fought Omar Wars, who's the other best prospect. But like, look at the skill set and the physical beast and physical strength of this guy, and the skill set and the speed of Omar Juarez. And then, like, ask yourself, why are they hyping these other guys? But their best prospect, I think, right now is Ramos. You know, we're talking under the age of 22, right? 22 and under. Their best prospects. Because, remember, Boots is not a PBC guy. He's one of some PBC cards, but he's not a PBC guy. Uh, so their best prospects, and, and, and he's already, like, in contender status, Bootsy. So I'm not going to call him a prospect anymore. Uh, but their best prospects are Ramos and Omar Juarez. And, and you can see that he destroys people. And I, I don't even know who's going to stand up to him. So they may move Ramos up sooner rather than later. Um, he's the nephew uh, of Abel Ramos who lost to uh, Ugas in a fairly competitive fight, and he wants to fight Ugas. Like, that fight could happen in the next 18 months. Ramos is that good. Like, this guy is an animal. Um, I, I don't know how quickly they're going to move him, but I, I'd move him as quickly as possible. He's already got his man strength. He's got skills. He's a, he, he's a pressure fighter with amazing offensive skills, two-fisted power. This is the guy you want to build around. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Are, are you as hyped on... Him as I am, because I, I think this guy is the real deal. Do you think PBC's got better prospects than him? And then I would say Omar Juarez is next, who fights on uh, April on the um, heavyweight Areola and uh, Ruiz card, which we're going to do a show on tomorrow. That's confirmed for April. Uh, we'll get do a show on that tomorrow. But um, Juarez is fighting on that card, from what I understand. Um, but, I mean, is this guy – is this a fight, like – is it? Are you as high on Jose, uh, Jose, uh, <clears throat> Jesus Ramos as I am? Do you see the awesomeness? Do you see the physical dominance and offensive skills and force that this guy is? Uh, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts uh, in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Remember, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. Uh, two episodes today. Uh, the first episode tomorrow will most likely be on the heavyweight fight that was confirmed. The Areola. Uh, Ruiz fight for in April. Um, and we'll do another show later in the day. But uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, follow all forms of social media. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. It is March 1st. It's really March March 1st, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Uh, let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.